Hey, I'm Gary. We got another video for you today, and this one is going to be something that most homeowners will encounter at some point in their homeownership life, okay? So, a little backstory here. Uh, my AC unit had been leaking underneath the air handler, and uh, so it was dripping underneath it, dripping quite a bit. Uh, to where I had to put a little bucket underneath the air handler unit inside of my house. So, we're going to fix that. I'm going to show you exactly what was going wrong and uh, exactly how to fix it. But before that, let me go ahead and just really explain the big picture here. So, inside your house is what's called the air handler or furnace, if you will. All right, so that's the inside unit. The outside unit is usually called the condenser unit. So in the condenser unit, you have your compressor, which, which kicks on, and you have your Freon in there, and you have your um, basically condenser fan, uh, which is the big unit on the outside, which cools down the compressor, all right, which pushes all the fluid. Uh, so inside of the house, you have a air handler. So the air handler um, has a re return duct. So that takes the air from inside of the house and then it pushes it up, sucks it up through some evap evaporation coils and uh, also in tune with a blower, a blower motor, and that is then what pushes the air to your supply ducts around your house. So what goes on, you have your evaporation coils which are pushing the coolant through it or the liquid and with that comes condensation because the air temperature inside of your house is warmer than the inside of those copper tubes, if you will. So that creates condensation. So you have what's called a condensation drip pan inside of your air handler, okay? So it's normal, and uh, as the condensation builds, it goes into a condensation pipe, basically, an exit. So, and that, you may see it. In this video, you're going to see exactly how mine is set up. Each one is different. It may be on the side, top, whatever, bottom. Each one is different, and each setup is different. But essentially, there is a a, a P-trap in that condensation pipe. All right, you have two different pipes. And um, in the main one, you should have a P-trap in there to code, which creates kind of a vapor barrier, um, negative pressure, as my buddy... Sammy says, uh, so it creates that negative pressure because as your unit is running, it, it's really a, a vacuum inside of there, uh, inside of the air handler, sucking up stuff. So it can't really get all that extra condensation out into the pipe to the outside without some kind of seal. And once it has that seal, a vapor barrier or a P trap, then it'll collect in there and then it'll exit to the outside. So you're going to see exactly how my setup is ran and what I did to fix it. All right. So here we go. All right. So here we are. So this is just a brief little overview. You see I have my little bucket inside of there. Oh, so pretty. Uh, and, and you're going to kind of see how my system is set up here. Those right there, you have my initial condensation pipe and my, um, I guess, emergency pipe outside or outlet as well and mine is a downward facing uh, setup so so that you can see kind of just how it's set up transition so now we're walking outside and you're going to kind of see exactly where it goes out to so if you ever see uh, a PVC pipe on the side of your house and you're like what, what, what is that too why is that even there what's the point of it you know well this kind of will represent exactly that so there you go so here i am you see i have the p-trap on the outside all right most units will have it on the inside but mine specifically has it on the outside i'm just gonna roll with it it's fine but essentially that gets clogged it, it's a double-edged sword because your p-trap is vital for that vapor barrier just like under your sink under your uh kitchen sink bathroom sink and it's vital, and in your kitchen sink and bathroom sink, it stops the sewer gases from going up into your house, okay? 
But in this situation, the P-trap is used to create a vapor barrier, which then stops that suction, that negative pressure, all right, and allows the condensation to overflow and drip out of the P-trap. So here we are. I I'm kind of just unclogging it this whole time. Uh, I have a little, it's called a some kind of a musical instrument brush. I don't know the exact name, maybe a xylophone. Music junkies out there, feel free to chime in, but I got it at a music shop and I got it specifically for the drain pipes of my, or drain tubes of my Miata, Miles Miata that I have that the roof is leaking basically, the drain tubes are leaking. So that's the original reason I have it, uh, but it works perfectly for this as well to clean out the P-trap. So the P-trap, yes, it's a double-edged sword. It creates that vapor barrier that you need to create that negative pressure of your air handler unit. But along with that, it gets gunked up, stuff gets in there, whether it's dust, grime, whatever. It needs to be cleaned out every so often, and that's just how it goes. There's really no way around that. It is what it is. So I think here I am, I'm still just cleaning it out. Um, the brush works wonders. You can see that it, it's really doing justice. You can see all the water pouring out of there. Um, that was built up inside of the pipe. And, and you can also see at the beginning of it, you can see how dirty it was at first from that dust and grime that was in there. And you can see that kind of overflowing, uh, pouring out of it. So it was really weird. Um, but I'm glad I got it cleaned out. So it's all cleaned out. And so now I'm on the inside. So the inside, here I go. I'm just cleaning up the inside of the, uh, my air handler is in a little closet basically. So I'm just vacuuming it all out, making it look a, a tiny bit prettier, nothing too special. Uh, really trying to get a, a lot of that dust that had been built up inside of that closet for years and seeing if I can just make it a little bit more habitable, if you will. Um, also cleaning the condensation pipe as well as the uh, emergency condensation pipe, which is where it had been leaking out of uh, this whole time onto the floor, but I put a bucket there. Um, so I'm kind of just cleaning everything up and I'm wiping everything. There you go. They can see the two different pipes right there. Uh, you have your main one condensation line, which goes then to the outside um, at a pretty steep pitch. And then, which then goes to the P trap that you saw outside earlier. And there you go. That's the before picture. So the before picture, you have that bucket that was saving me because the emergency uh, condensation tube was dripping uh, because the other tube was clogged, the main one. So the bucket came in handy. Here we go. We have the, I guess, finished product. You know, I kind of cleared everything out, cleaned it up, vacuumed it, wiped, wiped it out. And that is essentially what it took. Clean out the repeat traps. You got to do it every now and then, but there you go. That's where we are. All right. So there we are guys, there is something that every homeowner is going to have to encounter in their home ownership lifespan. It's very common, you know, it's very easy for those P-traps to get clogged. I hope you enjoyed this video and help, thought it was beneficial to you, uh, especially let's say as a uh, property manager or landlord, you run into these types of situations all the time uh, where it get clogged, the, the tenant says, hey, there, there's the AC is leaking onto my floor. You know, what do I do? This is what you do. More than likely it is because of that P trap that needs to be cleaned out and is preventing the unit from draining properly. So I hope this helped. Um, I will have a bunch more videos just like this. Uh, if you like these kind of videos, like the video below. And, um, I think next video is going to be something a little bit, um, more mainstream, I guess you can say. Uh, I'm not sure how y'all are liking my repair videos, but I figured I'd just add them just for full transparency about what my day-to-day -day life is as you know, a, a landlord, whatever, homeowner, all the above, all right? Uh, and some simple fixes for those. So thank you guys, hope you enjoyed it, and like and subscribe. All right, see ya, peace.